All right. Uh, good morning, everybody. Today is Daf uh, Ayin and Daf Ayin Aleph. Um, so we left off in the Mishnah at the bottom of Samach Tes, Samad Beis. Um, I think so, right? So we say, Emesai, Mishnah at the bottom. I don't know, six lines from the bottom, some lines from the bottom. Emesai, maybe Chagiga, Imo. So when does one bring a Chagiga? We'll, th- we'll soon discuss a Chagiga. Basically, the purpose of the Chagiga is brought also on Erev Pesach in order that people should uh, have enough to eat for the Karim Pesach, and they should not eat it while starving, we'll soon see why. Um, and therefore, it basically provides more meat. So it provides more meat. So when do you bring this Chagiga Imo? B'zman ba b'chol, b'tahara, u'vamuat. Um, only when it's brought during the week. In other words, it does not override Shabbos, the Chagiga, it's not an obligation since it's not obligatory. Therefore, you can't go ahead and check that on Shabbos. But Tahara, when everyone is, Tahor is being brought to Tahara, then you go ahead and do it. Uvamuat. And also, when there's not a lot of people on the Karn Pesach, therefore you need more people, and therefore you need more meat, and therefore you use the meat of the Chagiga. However, when the Karn Pesach is being brought on Shabbos, i.e., er, uh, er Pesach is on Shabbos, and there's, uh, there's a sufficient amount uh, of, um, you know, uh, of, of, of people to eat from there, uh, uvatuma, and also it's uh, betuma, then ein mo chagiga, then you don't bring the chagiga with it. And chagiga hai sabah minat son, minat bakar, minat kwasu, minat izi, minat zakhar, minat kevos, v'nechalas l'shtei yemen v'yilayilachan. According to our Mishnah, we'll soon see an, uh, an arguing opin- uh, opinion of Ben Tema. So we say that it can be eaten, um, if, it, if, it, if it, first of all, it can be brought from any, from not only from sheep, right, from either tzon or kevas, but even from cattle, right, and uh, or from goats or sheep, and it can be male or female, which is also different than the Koran Pesach, right? The Koran Pesach can only be brought from goats or sheep, um, not cattle. Uh, Koran Pesach is male, this can be male or female, and it can be eaten in two days as opposed to the Koran Pesach, which is eaten on that night. So my Tani Chagiga, right? So first of all, what's the reason why? Where are we coming from that we if we're talking about Chagiga? Right? Since we were discussing, right, carrying uh, one's animal or knife or anything and bring it, which is not Daicha Shabbos. So Chagiga Therefore, we also t- uh, teach about the Chagiga, which is not Daicha Shabbos. When do you bring with it a Chagiga? Only when it comes, um, uh, you know, during the week, but Tahara, and there's not enough meat. And Amar Ravashi, and says Ravashi, Shmamino Chagiga Arbasar, we learn from here, says Ravashi, Chagiga Arbasar, Lav Chayvahi. It's not an obligation, top of the page, and Ayin Amar Aleph, why? If you think it's a Chayvah, Tisi B'Shabbos. If that's the case, it should override Shabbos, right? Should, even if you have a lot, uh, you know, you have a good amount of people, so everyone has a kazayas, nevertheless, you should also go bring the, the, the chagiga then, and also go ahead and bring it, uh, even if, have, let's say it's a year where everyone is telling me, you bring up a tuma, but we see it doesn't override Shabbos, therefore it's not an obligation. Now, Zakh Gemara, Umuat, Miha, my time of Asya. So let's say you don't have enough people. And it was, so let's say, small enough, and you need more meat. What's the reason why you bring it? So the reason is because the Karim Pesach, right, the meat should be eaten with it, and that the meat should be eaten first in order that when you eat the Karim Pesach, you should be full from it, right? You shouldn't go in and eat the Karim Pesach while you're starving, right? Uh, uh, what exactly that reason is, but according to Rashi, is that the person should be satiated, he should be full. If one is starving and he eats his first k- uh, kazayas of meat, right, roasted meat, he, it doesn't fill him up. So if he's already sort of eaten, he already had his appetizer of the chagiga, right, he's not starving anymore, and therefore when he goes, a- uh, when he goes ahead and eats, he'll be satiated. Fine. <coughs> Two dots. Two dots, top of uh, ayin. Uh, six lines down. So, even for two days. Now, now we're going to discuss Ben Tema Shita basically for this Amud. Our Mishnah is not like Ben Tema. Why? The Tani will learn in the Bryce of Ben Tema. 
a Chagiga that is brought with the Karim Pesach is just like the Karim Pesach. You can only eat in, right during, not really, you really don't eat during the day. It's only really that night, but just as it says during the day and night, what it means is that to exclude the day, night, and then the following day, right? Most Karbanos, right, you get, you know, two days, right, and the night in between. Here, you only get up until the night. Um, so that's what he means by that. that. Obviously, you can't go ahead and start eating your Karim Pesach or your Chagiga before, uh, before Pesach starts. So it can be eaten only for that one night. However, there's two, there's other Chagigas that are brought, right? There's, uh, uh, besides the, 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 we're not going to discuss the Olas Ria, right? Which is when they, they come to the Beis Amikdash, there's a requirement to, for Shlosh Regalim to come to bring an Ola. Rather, there's a, a separate Karbanos from the Pesukim. One is a Shalme Chagiga. One is a Chagiga uh, that is brought. Another one is a Shalme Simcha to bring a special one of Simcha. These also these are both Shlamim, and these have to be brought on uh, the Yantiv itself. So it can't be something that was offered or brought the day before. It was offered on the 14th. Rather, it's brought uh, during that time. So we say the Chagiga is Chamisha, so, and that Chagiga is different than this one. So according to Ben Tema, the Chagiga that's brought to eat with the current Pesach, you only get uh, one night. But the other Chagigas that are brought, let's say, on Pesach itself, on the first day, those are standard Chagiga, standard Shlomim, and those you can eat in, uh, with uh, two days and an night in between. The Chagiga Sarbaz Sar Yaitziba Mishim Simcha Venia Sebishim Chagiga, and says, Ben Tema, the Chagiga that's brought on the 14th, it can be, you can fulfill that obligation of your Simcha, right? Of your Shalmei Simcha, right? But you cannot go ahead, we'll explain why, and we cannot go ahead and be Yetze uh, because of the, the Chagiga, right? We'll soon see why the, 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 the obligation for you to bring, right, the Simcha, right, can be fulfilled, but not the, uh, uh, but not the one for the Chagiga of the Shalmei uh, Chagiga. So my time with the Bentema. So first, what's the reason of Bentema? Why does he go ahead and link it? it why is it identical to the Karim Pesach? So he says, So the Pesach says, you shall not leave over, right, to the morning, Zevach Chag HaPesach. So Zevach Chag, Zechagiga. When it says Zevach Chag, that's referring to the Chagiga that's brought on the 14th. And HaPesach, Kamash is referring to the Karim Pesach. And you shouldn't leave it over. So we see that it's also limited. It's not your standard Shlamim that has two days. Rather, it's different. So there's a difference just like the Karim Pesach. And therefore, we link it to all the other Halachas. Now, Iboilu, so that was Ben Tema. Now, it's going to be a question. Iboilu, the Ben Tema, according to Ben Tema, Nechelis Tlio, Eina Nechelis Do you have to go ahead and eat it roasted or not? All right, maybe can you cook it? Can you eat it prepared in other ways? So actually, when we compare it to the current Pesach, is it just for the halachas of Lina, because the Pesach says lo yalin, or is it all other halachas, such as the way you prepare the meat? So Tashman, come on, listen. Uh, since it says this night, everything is, eat, uh, is eaten roasted, so therefore, this must be according to Ben Tema, who says that since, uh, according to him, not only you, do is the halachas of leaving it over is identical, but also the halachas of how the food is prepared. Iboilu, the Ben Tema, also another question about Ben Tema, bakar, or ain't a bakar. can you go ahead and bring the chagiga from, let's say, cattle, or not? So Bamina Kavas, can you uh, bring a female animal? Can it be an animal that's two years into its second year, right? Which normally is too old for Karn Pesach. Or maybe you can't go ahead and bring in something which is two years old. So so Gvara says, is it only for matters of achila, such as how long you can eat it for, right? Until the morning or until chatzos, or the way you prepare it, i.e. you have to roast it. Or avala kolamili lo, but in terms of what type of animal, right? If it's older, if it's cattle, if it's female, or demoloshna, or maybe it doesn't make a difference. So Toshma, come and listen. Chagiga habo ima pesach. So the chagiga was harehi kepesach is just like the karam pesach. Bob minatzon. 
Vena Bamina Bakar, right? It comes from uh it's sown and it doesn't come from Bakar. Bamina Zakharam it comes from male animals, Vena Bamina and the Kavas doesn't come from female animals. We can only come from an animal which is in his first year and not one of them in the second year. Right? Right? And it cannot be eaten, right? It can only be eaten for the that night. And it can only be eaten roasted. And it can only be eaten uh, for those who are uh, right, who are registered for that animal. So man, Shamasla, these lay a high spar. Who's the one who holds that this far they're identical? That's Ben Tema. So Shvamina, Kula Milsa Baina and Shvamina. Indeed, according to Ben Tema, it is identical. Fine. Now, so that was Ben Tema. Now, Iboilu, another question according to the Ben Tema. Yesh bo mishum mishum shviras etzem or ain bo mishum shviras etzem. Is there a halacha that we know that by Korm Pesach there's halacha? You can't, you shouldn't go ahead and break the bone, right? Break any of the bones of the current Pesach. You have to be very careful not to break the bones of the current Pesach. So does that also apply with the Chagigas Arbaasar, with the Chagiga that comes along with the, with the current Pesach? So Afagav, the Kiyachi, Rachman of the Pesach, I'm a Karab Bo. So even though you, I, you'll say, hey, Karim Pesach, right? We, we, we said it's identical. So any halachas that apply to the current Pesach apply to the Chagiga. But however, it says the word bow, etzem lo tishru bow, right? This one, bow, right? In it, bow v'lo chagiga doesn't mean that dafka the current pesach and not the chagiga. Dilma hai bow, the baser v'lo v'pasul udiaser. Maybe it's only coming to tell you about excuse me, the kasher, that which is kasher, and not which is puzzle, right? In other words, maybe it's only to, you know what things are, what type of animal we do it, but it's not telling you other pro, uh, things that are uh, prohibited. To do such as breaking the bone. So Tashma, come and listen. Sakin Shanin says, Barabasa, if you find a knife that was it was found on the 14th. Shaykhid Bamiyad. So a knife on the 14th, the assumption is, right, you find it, right? The street it was prepared for shita. Now, can I go ahead and use it? Now you have to use one that's just taller. Now, normally you find a knife, it's you can't assume it's taller to go ahead and use it in a carbon. If you find in the 14th, Sheikha Bamiya, you can go ahead and check it. Why? Because it must have been, right? Uh, 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 it must have been prepared and ready to go. Um, and uh, to, uh, you know, to, you know, to, to, what's it called? To um, become Tahor for the next day, right? So it, have, it would have to have been, right, uh, taken basically to a, to be retired, right? Uh, um, gone to the mikvah before. And therefore, you wait till the evening, and they'll be fine. So it must be done on the 13th. So if you find it on the 14th, it's fine. However, if it's on the, if you find it on the 13th, right? They say, oh, I'll just go ahead and use this one tomorrow. You have to go ahead and um, uh, go ahead and bring it to the mikvah again and wait, you know, for, for tomorrow on the 14th. Because the 13th, because whoever had it before, maybe thought that, okay, I'll go ahead and prepare my knife right but you don't need to prepare the knife earlier than that so only on the you know only on the 13th and not the 14th so kaifis however a meat cleaver right meat cleaver is used to basically break down the meat and however a meat cleaver is not really not good to use with the current pesach why because that could potentially break bones so a meat cleaver is not you would not be used with a current pesach so if you find a kaifis right whether it's on the 13th or the 14th, you have to go ahead and if you want to use it at all, right? Uh, so you have to go ahead and uh, bring it again. So it's not assumed to be prepared for the 14th. Now, Mani, whose opinion is this? If it's going to my know, right? What's the difference between a knife and a, uh, what's the reason why we say that the knife was already in the mikvah? The chaz of the Pesach, right? Because it was, it's, it can be used for the current Pesach. So matu nami, kofit nami. So so to the kofit, the meat cleaver, right? According to the Rabbanon, right? Remember, there are no restrictions on the chagiga like it is the current Pesach. That's obvious according to the Rabbanon. So according to them, right? It can be uh, a different type of animal, right? Uh, uh, right? It can be uh, female, male. We don't care, right? You can break the bones of one of the Rabbanon. No Shiloh, right? So kaifi nami. Ha chagiga. Can we use for the chagiga? And therefore, if I find it on the 14th, well, it must have been someone had it ready to go for their chagiga on the 14th. So therefore, it should be Torah. 
Ella, rather than that, we must say it's, we must say it's the Ventema. We must say it's the opinion of Ventema. And it must be because there's Shvira's Atsim. In other words, that we see over here that um, according to Ventema, right, he must hold that the, the meat cleaver, right, is not something which is fit, right, uh, for the current Pesach. Right, so you have to go ahead and because uh, it, it can't be used for it, right? So therefore, there's no reason for it to be tar, so or, or even for the chagiga. So it says lo rabbanon ukegoyin shabbos shabbos. Maybe we're talking it's the opinion of rabbanon, but we're talking about when it's on shabbos. If it's on shabbos, then there is no, as we learned at the beginning today, there is no chagiga that's brought on shabbos. Right, you can't go ahead and do it. So therefore, maybe we're talking about that case. So Laura says, what are you talking about? How many times is safer? But the safer says, Chal abar salios be Shabbos. Then it says, if it falls out on Shabbos, Sheikh Bamiyad, he can go ahead and use that knife immediately. And also, if he found it on the 15th, Sheikh Bamiyad, he can go ahead and use it then. Right? Um, it was because we assume it was Reish And Anim says, Kaif is Kshur Lasakin. And therefore, in that case, right, the cleaver is just, and if you find it that it was tied, it was Kshur Lasakin, it was tied to the two of them together, Hare Kasakin, then it was the same halacha status as the knife. So, but what do you see over here? This over here says, if it was Chal and Shabbos. So, our previous terrorist was, oh, it could even be the Rabbana, which is talking about Shabbos, where there's no Chagiga. And that's why we assume. Right, that uh, it, it, it wouldn't be used for the chagiga, right? So he said no. So oh, it says, since the seifa is talking about Shabbos, Michal, the Reish Lava Shabbos is king. It must be the Reish is not talking about Shabbos. So the Ella, rather Sheba, rather we're talking about a case of where when we found it when Sheba, top of the page, the Maruba, right? Where it's talking about where the Maruba. In other words, there's not a lot of people for this current Pesach, and since there's not a lot of people, everyone has a sufficient amount of meat. Everyone has a sufficient amount of meat. There is no need for a chagiga. So since there is no, no need for a chagiga, then the kofits, right, wouldn't be prepared, wouldn't be tar for that. So So how does one know if you find a meat cleaver, right, where the, if that was for going to be for a chagiga, right, that was whether, you know, a lot of people were registered at Karim Pesach or not. It doesn't make any sense. So Ela Shubaba Tuma. Okay, we're talking, it was Baba Tuma. So 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 how does he know? That everybody is going to be, it's a year with, it was brought to and the, the majority of, of B'nai Yisrael is going to bring the current Pesach B'tuma, and therefore, if they bring it with Tuma, so therefore, he knows he can go ahead and use it. So, Demis Nasi, maybe we're talking about the Nasi died. Well, the Nasi died, so therefore, everybody is Tome. He was died within seven days of Pesach, and therefore, everyone would be Tome Tumas Mace. So, the Mace Nasi Amos. So if he died on the 13th, so why would they have to go ahead and go ahead and be Tavo the knife? Elo Demis Barba. So you can say he died on the 14th. So Maisha the Saki the Matbil. Or Maisha the Kavis the So what's the, what's the reason why they would go ahead and bring the knife to the mikvah versus the um Versus the meat cleaver, right? Just as he thought that he needed to go ahead, right? If he died on the 14th, so just like he thought that he needed the knife to be tar, so the, the meat cleaver. So those would have been titled uh, from the day before. So Gemara says, no, let's see. Her. The Nasi, Gaisei Special Shosar. He was very, very sick, right? Uh, and he was a Gaisei. So a person who's a Gaisei, he's, he's you know, basically on his deathbed. It's it's not a question of uh, it's not a question of if it's more of a question of when. So he was very very sick on the thirteenth of Nisan. So suck in the chad When it comes to a knife, there's only one suffix, right? Uh, so therefore, if there's a there's a suffix on this knife, do I need this knife to be tar or not? So therefore, the only suffix is is the nasi going to die, and I have to go ahead and be matami mace, right? Uh, for the for the funeral. Right, so therefore, the only suffix is: is he going to die or is he not? So therefore, there were, there's only one suffix on the knife, and therefore we can say. Um, so therefore, the person will go ahead and be taiva. However, kaifits the trace sveka. However, when it comes to the kaifits, right, the meat cleaver, then there's two svekas. First of all, is he going to die? And second of all, is it even needed for the chagiga? Right, because. Right, there might be uh, you know sufficient amount of people uh, uh, using it, and therefore it, it wouldn't need it, and therefore. Um, um, and, and the, so therefore the two spakas, so therefore we'll assume that the meat cleaver is tummy. So we see, um, 
that uh, uh, in this case it could be coined to Rabbanan, and therefore it's not a proof as to whether Ben Tema, right, says that um, the, the, the breaking the bone, right? Because you wouldn't use a meat cleaver on something, right? That you're for, uh, forbidden to do. So therefore, since we don't know whether or not this meat cleaver is the shita of, uh, according to him, it's, it could be according to the Rabbanan, right? Maybe it was only the Rabbanan who talked about using a meat cleaver when it came to the Chagiga, but not Ben Tema. So we don't know if Ben Tema held that a meat cleaver would be usher to use with the Chagiga because it's usher to break a bone or whether it'd be mutter to go ahead and use, and therefore he would be discussing the Tuman Tahara of a meat cleaver. Therefore, it, be, it could be according to the Rabbonin, and therefore this uh, brysa, this case from, uh, uh, is not a proof. Fine. Uh, Tanya. So we're Tanya in the Ayin, uh, we're in Ayin Bays, uh, like seven lines or eight li seven lines from the top. So Tanya, Yehuda ben Durtai perush hu v'durtai beno. So Yehuda ben Durtai, I guess, and he also named the son after his father, and Durtai his son, they v'holof v'yashelah bedar. What do they do? They traveled very far away from the base of Mikdash on Erev Pesach, basically to say that they're considered to be somewhat people who are not karof, right? We know that people who are tame get pushed off to... Um, they, they get pushed off to what's it called to uh, Pesach Sheni, and he wanted to be uh, also to be Rochok, to be far, and basically to potter himself from Pesach Sheni. Omar, he said, <clears throat> Why did you not bring the Chagiga on Shabbos? Right? If you dollar was on Shabbos, then normally we said you just bring the Pesach, you just bring the carbon, uh, you just bring the, the carbon Pesach. On the 14th, on Shabbos, but you can't be the Chagiga like we saw in our Mishnah. He argued with our Mishnah. He held that the Chagiga is brought also on the 14th, even if it's Shabbos. But he didn't want to go ahead and bring this Kar Pesach and not the Chagiga, and he couldn't go ahead and bring a Chagiga and violate what everyone else is doing. So basically, he just says, you know, I'm going to travel, you know, to uh, uh, Beersheba, I'm going to go far away and patter myself. So why? Because if Ilyanovi come and said and came and said, "Hey, why don't you guys go ahead and bring your chagiga?" So he says, "To me, I'll shnei gedoli ador shemay v'talion." Right? What will they say? So they say, "Well, the be question of an ashrei v'talion shein chamim gedolim v'dasharin gedolim v'lo'em l'am liyisel chagiga doichas shabbos because they didn't darshan to everybody that chagiga would would doichas shabbos." So they held that since it's Deich Shabbos, right? We should really do it, but you know, they, they, you know, everyone does not hold that way. So therefore, we're going to basically excuse ourselves. And Amara says, "Rab, my time of the band Dirtai. What's the reason why?" Dixi the pasuk says, "Vezavachto Pesach Lashem of the Kechat Son Ubakar." It says over there, you should go ahead and offer the Korban Pesach Son Ubakar, right? By the Pesach, Korban Pesach says Son Ubakar. Now, follow in Pesach Elo Mina Kavasi Mina Yizim. Ah, uh, the Korban Pesach we know is only brought from sheep or goats and not cattle. It says son u bakar, right? Sheep and bakar and cattle. Ella, son ze Pesach, bakar ze bakar ze chagiga, but rachman is the Pesach, right? Rather, it says, when it says son is in front of the Korban Pesach and bakar is in front of the chagiga, and both of them are commanded to do. So, according to, uh, to Ben Dertai, there's an obligation to go ahead and bring the chagiga, even if Erev Pesach is Shabbos. You guys aren't doing it. I'm, I'm booking out. I'm, I'm, I'm taking a, a one-way bus ticket, an egg ticket to, um, to, to, to Beersheba. And I'm Ravashi. And Ravashi says, I, okay, it's a good question. Anon, Tama de Prushim, Niko Benifush. Okay, we're going to go ahead and explain the reason. Ella cried, Rav Nachman, who does We don't dash in the Pussy way. Like we dash in the Pussy like Rav Nachman did. Then Rav Nachman, Rav Hua, Minayil and Maiser, Ha Pesach, Shakar, Shlom. How do I know? that a leftover Karim Pesach is offered like a shlam. So let's say I have a Karim Pesach and I lose my animal. And then I, okay, I have to replace it. I can't find it in time. I get another one, I replace it. And all of a sudden I find my Karim Pesach again, find it two days later after I already found, after I, you know, I brought a different one. So what do I do with my animal? So the Pesach says, that's called the Maisar Pesach Shekar Shlam. It's brought as a shlam. Shina Maisar Pesach says, V'zavach the Pesach Hashem lekecha tzono bakar. Chi Pesach mida bakar ba. Right, it's obvious. The puzzle obviously doesn't make sense, right? Why is it talking about Bukhar if it's talking about the current Pesach, right? Is the current Pesach brought as a from cattle? It's only brought from sheep or goats. 
Ella, my Sarah Pesach, rather the Pesach is referring to the leftover current Pesach, such as the case I, uh, uh, you know, I gave. And and therefore it will be just like something which is brought from cattle and sheep, i.e. a shlamim. So therefore it's coming to teach you that a Meisar Pesach is brought as a shlamim, and that's the shot of the Pesach, not teaching you that the Chagiga is brought um, as uh, the Chagiga is brought also on Shabbos. My time of the Shabbos. What's the reason why it doesn't look at Shabbos? Havadai Karban Sivu. I understand, isn't a korban tzibur, isn't something which is needed by the tzibur, so why shouldn't the chagiga be doicha Shabbos? So, Oma Rabbi Loi, Mishim Rabbi Yudah ben Safra, Oma Kra, the Pasuk says, V'chag Hashem, Oiso Chag Hashem, Shivas Yomim Bishon. So it says, right, you shall celebrate Chag Hashem for seven days. Okay, now, uh, this Pasuk is talking about Sukkot, right? This pasuk of this talking about sukkah, and it says the chagiga, right? Shiva siyam in bashan. One second, just see one second. Um, so right over here, we're even talking about as Rashi points out. We're even talking about the chagiga, right? The 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 shalme uh, the chagiga that's even brought as Rashi says. Amaylo dachi shabbos. Afidu chagigas chamisha sir. Right, even the chagiga that's brought on the fifteenth. In other words, the ones that are brought for the holidays. We, we just explained earlier the shalmei simcha, the shalmei chagiga. Those are brought on the holiday itself. Why aren't those docha shabbos? Right, that's the question. So this pasuk over here by Sukkot says you shall celebrate for seven days. Right, seven days shiva. Now, what do you mean shiva? Shmona What do you mean? Isn't it? Eight days, right? You have seven days of, right? I know it's very confusing for us in America, right? Which one's is seven, eight, nine, what's going on, right? So, Sukkot, seven days, eighth day, Shemini Atzeres. That's it, right? So, one day of Yantif, six days of Chalmoid, uh, one day of Yantif, eight days total, right? So, it says, but it, it calls it seven days. Why is it seven days? It must be because the Chagiga is not Deich Shabbos. Because one of those days is a Saturday, and the Saturday is the day of rest, i.e. Shabbos, and therefore you cannot go ahead and bring the Chagiga on that day. So we El Mikan, the Chagiga Shem Deich Shabbos. So Kiyos Rabbi Omar Amarti Lifnei Rabbi. So I said before, I said this question. Pamin Shiata Mitz El Shisha. Why does it say seven? Sometimes it's six. At the first day, right? Kigon Shachal Yon Tavarishon Shachal B'Shabbos. So what do you mean? If day one is Shabbos, day eight is also Shabbos. So now you can only bring it six days. Summer Rabbi. It's funny, I actually, uh, I, I felt a little insulted by this because I was preparing it, right? And uh, so I said, well, well, you can also have it six days, not just seven days, which is the Kasha of the Gemara, right? I good Kasha. And Amar Abaye, Ovin Tichle Lema Kihai Milsa, right? Ovin was childless. He had his, his children, you know, they were Nebuch. Uh, uh, he, he, he buried his, his sons, right? Uh, so he says, Ovin, the, the, the father, right? The, the one who's uh, childless, right? He would say such a thing, right? He would ask such a silly question. I, Yoel, you ask such a silly question, right? Right. And the point was, it's not only seven days. The point is that it's never eight days, right? That was the whole kasha. The whole kasha was never eight days. It's only seven, sometimes six, right? But most most times it's seven, right? Even if it was six, it's not a kasha. It just means it's not eight, right? So that was the kasha. So, that, so that's what it means to say. So yes, Enoch and Ami, right? It could come out, yo, you're very smart, right? Saturday can be the first day and Saturday can be the last day. You only end up bringing six that year, but that's not the point. The point is the max you can only bring is seven and never eight. And the reason is because the, 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 this is the Pasuk teaches you that the Chagiga is Eina Doicha Esa Shabbos. Omar Ula, Omar Rebbe Elozar, Shlomim Sheshachtan Me'erev Yontif. Eino yoitze behem loy b'shem simcha v'loy b'shem chagiga. The shlomim that was shechted on Erev Yantif, i.e. the, the chagiga we're talking about to be eaten with Karim Pesach, one cannot fulfill um, his obligation of the shalmei simcha and also for the shalmei, uh, for a chagiga. Why? So, because of Simcha, it says, you shall shecht and you shall rejoice. So, right, top of the page, right, because you need the zvicha, the slaughtering, the shechting should be the time of the Simcha. That's what's telling you. And therefore, since you're slaughtering it on the 14th, and the time of the Simcha is only on the 15th, 
Therefore, you cannot fulfill your obligation that way. And you don't have that. And Hashem Chagiga. And Habi Dava Shavachayva, Bechol Dava Shavachayva, and Abba El Minachuma. Because that is obligatory, and something which is obligatory cannot come, uh, cannot come from Kachim, rather it has to come from Chulam. Because what, what's, the, what's the issue here? You're shechting it on the 14th. It's now hectic on 14th. So my obligation to bring a Chagiga is to bring something from Chulam. Right, something which is chulin, and make it kadosh, and make it my karva that day. Right, since it was already hectic before you shechted before, and just said, okay, I'm going to leave over the meat and eat the meat, and make be be the uh, make it eat it that way. That doesn't count because you can't go ahead and use something which is hectic. You have to use something which is chulin. Right, so it's a technicality. So now leivim v'sayelit. Let's say it was a, we have a proof for it. The pasuk says va'isa ach It says over there by by sukkas. Right, you shall go ahead and rejoice. Ach sameach, right? So it sort of separates it. Ach sameach, right? Um, that you shall be right. Uh, only uh, ach, like it, like divides it. So the rabbis lele yon to ach on the simcha. This comes to include even the last night for simcha, i.e. shmini atzeres night. To ato imir lele yom to v'achron or in el lele yon to harisha. Now, what does this include? Which night are we including for Simcha? Are we including night number eight, right? Remember, we're talking about Sukkot. Night number eight, which is Shemini Atzeres night, okay? Is that the night we're including for Simcha, or is it the first night? Maybe the first night of Sukkot, right? Night number one, we're including that one for Simcha. Tamalaymar, therefore it says, ah, it says, ah, chalak, right? It it, it 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 divides it. It qualifies it. it. Says only this. What do you mean? What's the explanation? This is my time. What's the reason why we're not including the first the first night, but the last night we're included? <clears throat> because there is nothing to go ahead and rejoice with. What do you mean? There is no basar. Now, when can you go eat basar? So you shecht it, right? You shecht it, uh, right? You shecht it that day, and then you eat it either that day or that night. Now. What type of kachim can you eat the first night of sukkahs, right? You can't eat any kachim, right? First night of sukkahs. Why? Because you can only, you can't, it's not something which is shechted from the previous day, right? That's not chagig, that's not part of the yantif. It's only something that was shechted the first morning of sukkahs. So therefore, the night before, you don't have any uh, korban meat, right? So since you don't have any kachim to eat, the first night has no simcha. The last night, Shemini Atzeres, you can have Simcha meat, how? If you shecht it on the seventh day, and then you eat it the night of the eighth, right? So, Mar says, low. So he says, no. So, Ketani Tamale, he was taught, Mar is the Rabbis, Lele Yom Tav Achron, Lo Haitzi Lele Yom Tav Harishon, Mar Beni Lele Yom Tav Achron, Sheyesh Simcha Lofanov, Umaitzeni Lele Yom Tav Achron, Sheyesh Simcha Lofanov. No, I mean, it's different. The reason why I included Simcha by the eighth day is because you have Simcha coming up to it. Since there's Simcha coming up to it, so that should be included. However, when it comes to the first night, there is no Simcha before it, because before it is just air of, uh, you know, it's a uh, air of Sukkot. There is no Simcha before it. And therefore, since there's a Simcha before it, that's the reason why. It's nothing to do with the eating of the, uh, 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 of Kachim, of the Karbakas. So Mesa Rav Yisef. Now remember, we're still going back to uh, <clears throat> Rabbi Allah's statement that the carbon that was shechted on erev on erev yantif cannot be included, right, in your shami simcha shami chagiga. So that was what we just tried to deflect, and we said no, maybe it's just to do with there's there's no simcha before, no simcha afterwards. So now let's do it again. So Rav Yosef is Rav Yosef is a kasha. Chagiga sabas are yitzei ba mishum simcha veid yitzei mishum chagiga. So the Chagigah of the 14th, which sounds like, right, you, you can't fulfill your Simcha, but you could, excuse me, you could fulfill your Simcha, but you cannot go ahead and uh, be Yaitse Yechaz Chagigah. Now it says, am I, right? Why can you, why can be Yaitse B'Shem Simcha? How be in Zvicha B'Shem Simcha Valeka? Wait, didn't we just say earlier that the reason why the, the, the top line, we said that you require the Shechting at the same time as the Simcha. You don't have that there. If you bring it on the 14th, how could the Simcha on the 15th, Right? How could that count if you didn't do the shkita at the same time? So Amr Avidi Baravin Sheikevu Shachta. We're talking about a case of where, yeah, Enoch Inami, it was the 14th, right? He had it for to go for the 14th, but he didn't go ahead and bring it yet, right? He didn't bring it until the 15th, 
right? So even in reading the fifteenth, so that's the reason that where the zvicha was. So Amar Ravashi and in Amar Ravashi, how can I mistabro? Dila temahachi hamas nisan mandik tanila, right? Uh, if that's the case, right? Well, who would who would, who would it be like if you're eating it the next day? So where'd you have it from? Who would it be like Ben Tema? Is it Ben Tema who says you can go ahead and shecht it from the day before? So Ben Tema, how possible I believe it must be possible through Lina, right? Because according to Ben Tame, you can't leave it over to the next morning, right? If you bring it on the 14th, right? You can't have it uh, the next morning, the 15th, because he said it has the same restrictions as the current Pesach, right? Rather, it must be that it was delayed. And since it was delayed, uh, therefore, we say that that's the reason uh, you can't fulfill it. Uh, uh, that, excuse me, that was the reason why he can do the Simcha is because it was shechted on the 15th. And therefore, even though it was supposed to be done on the 14th, it was delayed. And now it's on the 15th. You can build, still fulfill it as your Shalmei uh, Simcha. And may Siv Rav Rav Ha Halel Va Simcha Shmona. So the Halel, you say eight days on Sukkot. Simcha is a requirement for all eight days and sukkahs. simcha. And if you say you need the zvicha the same time as the simcha, right? You're only going to have it uh, for seven days. If you have yom tarishon that falls on Shabbos, since over there on Shabbos you can't go ahead and uh, that's not doicha Shabbos. So therefore, you're not going to bring the shalmei simcha on the, on the on the first day, right? Of so you only be on the second day, which will give you seven days. So how can you say there's a requirement of simcha for eight days if potentially on the first day you can't do it, right? So um, right? So he says, no, maybe you use the the Syria regalim, the regalim that were brought, the korban masaf, and that were brought by the kohanim for the tzibur. So those are always those override Shabbos. So since those override Shabbos, therefore it's those that meet, which is which we misameach the yontif, and therefore you have eight days of simcha. And on the rabbi shtei shuvas medaber. There's two issues there. Chada. First of all, this year haregalim chay nechlin. It's the nechlin. First of all, you can't go ahead and cook that meat on Shabbos. Yes, you could offer them, but you can't uh, you can't go ahead and cook it. So it can only be eaten raw, right? There's no simcha in eating raw meat because <clears throat> you can't roast it. And there is no simcha b'chai. I don't care, you know, how much you like, you know, carpaccio <clears throat> with your, uh, you know, whatever sauce you put it on, right? It's still, it's not simcha. You guess, you know, a nice uh, thick steak. And furthermore, kohanim like let me show smechem. The second of all, those the few kavod sefer that are brought, they're only eaten by the kohanim who are there in the mikdash. It's not eaten by everyone else. So how is everyone else be yotzei that simcha? Salam rav papa. Right, rather, no, you misameach them with uh, new clothes, new clothes for yontif, with uh, wine, old wine, good wine. So therefore, there's another way to be simcha. It's not always the simcha over there. Requirement is going to be the simcha of eating carbon meat. Rather, the simcha is even uh, uh, drinking uh, fine wines and new clothes. Fine. The shlomim that was shechted on Erev you can you can fulfill your simcha, right? Even uh, even though it wasn't shechted on the the fifteenth, but it was shlomim shechted on Erev Yontif. simcha, but you cannot. Uh, the the shlomim simcha is fulfilled. Is uh, you you you've uh, 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 that, but not your chagiga. Right, so we hold why because we don't hold that rule that we started with off earlier that you don't require the zvicha, the 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 shechting at the same time as the uh, uh, as the holiday. And, but however, you can't fulfill your obligation on the Shabbat Chagiga. Why? Because once again, if you do it from before, then this is an obligation. You can't bring something which is already hectic, has to be brought from Chulun. And if you shechted it and offered it on the day before, then it's no longer Chulun, it's now hectic. It says, I, we, the Bryce said, we saw earlier, it says, you should go ahead and, and, and be. Even even happy on that day. When is that? That's to include the rabbis Laila Yom Tavachel and Simcha. To include the last day, the Shemitah Seras night. So Ata Yom Tavachel and Ena Rabbis Laila Yom Tarishon. 
So are, are we talking about the last night or maybe the first night, night number one? So Tamalema, the difference is ach, cholok. The difference is ach, which is cholok, which, which, which separates and says, even that, we're going to include the one, one night, uh, the last night, but not the first night. So my time was reason, lavashum, dein, bomam, yismach, right? There is not what to go ahead and uh, uh, to, 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 to celebrate with, right? Because you can't go ahead and use the meat from the day before. The first night, there is no korban meat to eat. So our answer is no, low. What's the reason why we include the last night for Simcha, right? But we exclude the first night. Because the last night has Simcha before it. So therefore, if we're going to go ahead and include any night because of Aisa Ach Sameach, we're going to also include the last night because there is Simcha running up to it, i.e. Cholmoid running up into it. Therefore, we'll include the night of Shemir Tzeres as opposed to uh, the first night of Sukkot. There is no Simcha before it, and therefore, that's not necessarily included. Fine. Omer Rav Kahana, new case, says Rav Kahana. Minayin le'emurei chagigas chamishosar. So now, put the Simcha behind us, although we should always be in Um the case of the Chagiga, right? So the Chagiga was brought on the 14th, right? To eat with, along with the Karim Pesach, and there were some restrictions upon the Chagiga, or according to Mentema, everything was the same, right? According to the Rabbanan, it was not, it doesn't override Shabbos. So how do we know that the Imurim, right? The limbs are supposed to be brought, Chagiga said, Shanisrafim, that they become possible if they're not to go ahead and put on the Mizbeach, they're puzzled through Lino. How do we know that? So, Shinamar, as the Pasuk says, Velo Yodin Chelev Chagi Ad Boker. All right. It says over there, corner Rav Kahana, you should not go ahead and leave the Chelev, right, of the fats of Chagi, right, of my offering, Ad Boker until the morning. All right. The question is going to be, which morning? Now, if you have, right, a, nor, a normal shlamim, you have two days, a night in between. And so therefore, the next morning, right, would be the following. So if you bring in the 14th, right, we're talking about either the morning of the 15th or the morning of the 16th, right, if it was a standard one, okay? So which one is it? So it says, there's some clay reishis. And the next Pusik says, reishis is talking about the kurum reishis, bikurum, over there. So it says reishis, right, something completely else. But the word reishis is written close to ad boker. Next one says Rashis. So Lamaimer, the high boker, boker Risha, to teach you that since the next Pasik is written, this is Rashis, it's teaching you on the word Ad Boker is referring to the first morning. And therefore, the a the Imurim of this Chagiga, you can't leave it over until the morning of the 15th. All right. So all you get is basically, you know, another whatever it is, you know, 15 hours until it's uh, you're over Lena. So that, that was the statement, and now we're going to have a sort of a long discussion on that premise. Okay, now, Mask Rav Yaisi, so Rav Yaisi, as a kasha, Satama, the cause of Rashis. The only reason why you think, all right, the only reason why we know that it, it's the first morning, it, they, the, the, it has to be put on these back for the Chagiga, is because there's the word Rashis afterwards. How the cause of Rashis? Havamina, my boker, boker sheni. What would I have thought the word boker is referring to? Referring to the second morning, i.e., the morning of the 16th. So, me, me, the bus, or Ifsele, me, orsa, Ramina, and Adsafra, right? Is there such a thing, right? That the meat, right, is usser at night, right? And the limbs have until the next, you know, until the next day, a longer period of time. In other words, we know that normally the limbs are more chummer than the meat. So why would I have possibly thought, what was the half minute to think, right? To say that you can't eat the meat only by a certain time, only the night. And then you have till the following day and the following night to go ahead and burn it. Why would I think the limbs are longer? You know, thankfully the word ratios comes to teach you the first morning. I would have thought, why would I have thought otherwise? Why, why would I have thought the Imurim have more time than the Busser? Why not? Pesach, the Rabbi Yezabed Azariah. The boss are used to the chatz. So it's not safra. Well, what do you mean? Look at the korban pesach itself. Korban pesach is the zarya you have until chatzos to eat it. And when do you go ahead and have to go ahead and burn all, all the limbs and everything on the mizbeach by the morning? So that's something where we have the meat ends and you still have time for the imur. Why not? Samarav Rav Yisif Rav Yikash. This is where Rav Yisif's kasha was. Mika mide, diilutana lebasar lo boy reishis. 
that if you have, it was, it was taught by basar, right, by meat, you don't need the word reishis. For Rav Kahana, they move by reishis. But Rav Kahana needs the word reishis to teach you that it has to be the first one. What do you mean? So mahi. So let's look. now we're going to bring a brisa, and then it's going to be a sort of a longer brisa, and then we're going to answer, explain the brisa. Then at the end of the brisa, it's going to be the proof as to why the word racious is not necessarily needed because normally, right, you you won't need the word racious to teach you by the murim uh, versus the meat. Let's see. So mahi. Titania, we learn in the brisa. <clears throat> the pasuk says lo yolin min abosar asher tizbach ba'erev vayom harishon nabokir. <clears throat> so the pasuk says, right? I'm just, I'm just, I'm, re- I'm going to read the whole pasuk because we're going to start this pasuk. It says, <speaking in Hebrew> You should not see any eleven uh, for seven days. <speaking in Hebrew> you should not leave over from the meat that you offered. <speaking in Hebrew> right? On the evening or the eve, right, of the first night until the morning. All right. So it says over there, right? You shouldn't leave it over the basar until the evening, right? Or, or for the, the 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 meat from the eve of the first day till the morning. So what's going on here? It says So turn the page to the top of I and Aleph from base. So Lee made it. Those you have to leave early. I'm just I plan on doing the uh, the the. It's a long mission today. So the mission starts almost half down, just to the bottom. So it says Lee made al chagigas our basar. This pasuk comes to teach you, right, that you have the meat to eat for two days. So if it's brought on the 14th, okay, it will soon explain why. You get to eat it on the night of the, you get to eat it on the, right, the, on, on the 15th, right? Uh, not just that night, but even you have the entire day of the 15th until the morning of the 16th. Okay, that's the shot of the pasuk. So it's, it gets eaten for two days and a night. So, or maybe just means, right, that you only get to eat it, right, that day, the 14th, and that night, the 15th. <clears throat> right? However, I would have thought that, but then the Pusik says, it says, it doesn't say the boker, it says, so it, it gives you extra time. So it says, right, which is the 14th. Bayom Harishon, which is the 15th. And then it says, La Boker, this is coming to teach you the morning of the 16th. <clears throat> oh, Eno El Boker Rishon. Or maybe it is the first morning. Right? And why normally do we have that a Chagiga is normally eaten for two days and a night? That's Chutz Mizu, except for this. Shoemir, Bo, in Nether, or Nedova, when it says a person brings a Nether and Nedova, Limeid El Chagiga Sabasa, Shenachelis, the Shnei Yamim Velayelacha. That gets eaten in two days and a night. So, what does this mean? So I'm remind we're explaining this what we just what we just read. Now we're explaining the brisa. As I said, we we brought the the, the longer brisa. We're gonna explain it and bring it back to our case of Rav uh, Rav Kahan. Right? It was Rav Kahan who made the statement. Yes, Rav Kahan. Fine. So Omar Mar O Ain Elo Bokirisha. Right. So we said over there. Right. The, the second line we said over there. O Ain Bella. Right. O Ain Ella. O Ain Ella Bokir. No, a little farther than that. Uh, the fourth line, right? In a little book maybe he's referring to the tell you can't leave it over till the first morning, right? And therefore it says, Marta, Shoimir Bayom Harishon, right? It says Bayom Harishon, Hare Boker Sheni Omar, right? So understand, why would you think it means the first morning if it has if it has both the words, right? Bayom <clears throat> Bayom Harishon and Laboker. Bayom Harishon is day 15, and uh, Laboker is the morning of the 16th. <clears throat> So Haki Komar, this is what it means to say. Maybe this Pasuk is talking about two different karbonas. Each one to its morning. Now as you bring one on the 14th, which is the Chagiga that comes over the Karm Pasach. And then you bring another Chagiga on the 15th, right? Let's say you're, you're Shami Chagiga. And each one you have its morning. So the one on the 14th, right, means that you have to get rid of it by the morning of the 15th. And the one that's brought on the 15th, you have to get rid of it by the morning of the 16th. So you're right. Everybody agrees, right, that when it says, Ba'erev, Ba'yom Harishon is day 15, La Boker is morning 16. Okay? But doesn't mean, 
right? The Shilas doesn't mean it's the Chagiga that was brought on the 14th that you have until the 16th, or is it the Chagiga that was brought on the 14th that has to be it has to be put on this back by the 15th, and the one on the 15th has to be brought by the 16th, and therefore it only gives you uh, uh, one morning. That's what it's saying. And hold on, and therefore it says, the Bryce says, so I, we know that a Chagiga really gets two days and a night, so why are you limiting to the next morning, right? Im kein, uh, im if that's the case, so the, the, that which is we learned from Nadar and Adava, which gives you two days and a day, so what is that coming to teach you, right? So we say, <clears throat> If it's referring to the Chagiga of the 14th, we know you get uh, a day and a night for that. And you also get a day and a night. So therefore, rather it says over there, uh, it's referring to the Chagiga of the 15th. Right? And the, so now, the one Pasuk says, where Oneder Onedava is referring to the Chagiga of the 15th. That is the classic one that you get two days and a night, right? But the other positive, the one we originally brought of that is talking about the Chagiga of Erbasar. And over there, it's coming to teach you that you get two days and a night for that one. Now, the whole reason why I brought this in is to ask the Kasha on Rav Kahana. Rav Kahana was the one, he's, he seemed to say that when it says the word Boker, I would have thought it's the second boker for the burning of the Imurim. But since it says the word ratios, therefore I know it's the one, the, the first one, the first morning. Now, Tom the 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 Chsiv Bayom Harish and Laboker. Only the only the reason over there it says Bayom Harish and Laboker, right? Demai Boker, that what when it says over there Boker, that's referring to Boker Shani. Ha Kalhecha the Chsiv Boker Stam. But if it didn't say Bayom Harish and Laboker, it would have just said Boker. Right, because the reason is by Yom Arishon adds a day, right? But Yom Arishon tells you that that's the day, the fifteenth, and therefore the Boker is the next morning on the sixteenth. So, but if it would have just said Boker Stama without by Yom Arishon, it would have been Boker Rishon. It would have been referring to the first morning. Viafagadu because he's very racist, even though it doesn't say racist. So it was a kasha and kind of your whole drasha was right. It was a long way of asking kasha, but the, your whole kasha was. That you need the word racist to teach you that the word boker is referring to the first morning, the morning of the 15th. But we see other Bryce's, other Tanayim that taught that there, if you have the word boker by itself, we always assume it's the first morning, not the second one, unless there was other reasons to assume it was the second one. So therefore, it ends up being Akasha on Rav Kahan. Fine. Naya Mishnah. So the Mishnah says, <clears throat> all right. So the Mishnah says, uh, starts off, Ha Pesach Shishachtu Shaloli Shmo. If a Pesach was shechted shalali shema, let's say a person had other, something else in mind to go ahead and shechted for, chayiv olav chatos. So he's chayiv for, if it was done on Shabbos, so he's chayiv a chatos, right? Because he did it, right? Shalali shema, and therefore he violated, so he's chayiv olav chatos. Ushar kol zvach, shechlan shalim shem Pesach. And all other karbonos that were shechted, l'shem Pesach, that were shechted for, let's say he had a shlamim and then he bought it for shem Pesach, if those are not fit for Karim Pesach, and let's say it was a female animal, animal is too old, then he would also be Chai Vachatas for violating the Shabbos. He didn't do it purposely. He thought he, he could do it. So therefore, he's Chai Vachatas. However, if they are fit for the Karim Pesach, Rabbi Eliezer, Machai Vachatas. Rabbi Eliezer says, You're still Chai. Since you're not Yoytse, the mitzvah of <clears throat> Since you're not yet to the midst of Karim Pesach, therefore you're Chayiv. And Rabbi Shua points Rabbi Shua says Potter, right? Rabbi Shua will hold that since, right, he, the Lamaisa, there was a mitzvah done, right? So since there was the mitzvah done, right, he's Tobed of our mitzvah, as Rashi points out, right? And therefore, since he does a mitzvah, even though it's not the mitzvah of Karim Pesach, but he did a mitzvah of offering this korban since it was kosher, therefore he is not Chayiv Achatos. <clears throat> So now, Amr Lo, Rabbi Eliezer. Rabbi Eliezer says, Rabbi Shua, Ma'ima Pesach Shum Motor Lishmo, Kshashina Shmo Chayv. So I understand. By Karim Pesach, which is right, in other words, which we say it's Motor to go ahead and do it on Shabbos for the sake of Karim Pesach. If you go ahead and you change it, right, Shalom Lishmo, we said Chayv. So other Zvachim Shayna Sun Lishmon. So other Zvachim, right, which you can't go ahead and even do with them Lishma on Shabbos. Certainly, if you do it shlo lishma, it should be chayiv. Now, if a if a if a, if a pesach lishma is mutter to do, 
but you should lower Shema's Aser. So other Karbanas, which the Shema you can't do, certainly, right, you should be high for it. So when Yeshua low, even my Pesach, Shishin, but Aser, no, that's not true, because if you have a Karban Pesach and you, and you do it for a Shlom and for other reasons, it's no good. But other Karbanas, if you bring them as a Shlom, right, if you have the Shlom and you bring us a Karban Pesach, right, it would be mutter to do on other days. So maybe there's a, since that's a mitzvah, so since it's a mitzvah, it's mutter to do, so therefore you can't go ahead and use that logic against it. So, uh, however, Amarlo, Rebbe Le'ezer, Emure, Sibure, Yochicho. Let's look at the, 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 the other Karbanas, right, of the Tzibur. Shehei Mutar and Lishman. Those other Karbanas that are brought on Shabbos, they're mutter to bring. Vashaychei Lishman, Chaim. And one who goes ahead and Shechs them right um, for that right. One who goes ahead and shechs it for for other purposes right would be uh, would be chayiv. So you see that's something that if it was if you do other kabbanas for something which was right for for its carbon tzibur, a person takes the shlamim and shechs it for a tamid right for the carbon tamid for the tzibur right. That's that that he's chayiv right. So even though. The Karban Tzibor, if he does it properly, is Deich Shabbos. Just like a Karban Pesach, you do it properly, is Deich Shabbos. But if you take another Karban and you do it for the sake of a Tum, it is no good. So too, if you take another Karban and you do it for the sake of a, of a Karban Pesach, it should be no good. You're right. But there's only, when you talk about the Karban Tzibor, so therefore there's only a certain amount that are done, right? There's a certain amount that are done, and therefore if you brought others, there's extra, those extra in the However, Torah Pesach, Shein Lukisa. But it comes to Karma Pesach, there are multiple. So therefore, right, the, the Karma Sibor, right, those are, that obligation was fulfilled. Once you bring the Tumid, anything else brought as a Tumid violates Shabbos. But a Karma Pesach, right, there's there's hundreds that are brought, thousands. So therefore, you can all, always bring another Karma Pesach. Therefore, maybe you should be potter about doing it. And Ramey Raimer, Af HaSheikh HaDashem Murit Sibor Potter. He says, he ar- actually argues with the premise of Rabbi Yezer, and he says, even one who shechs the shame, if one who goes ahead and shechs for the purpose of a carbon seaborn, is potter, right? Is potter uh, in that case because he's doing a mitzvah. And shachdu shalola love, and one who goes ahead now shechs, right, for people who uh, can, uh, can't eat from it, or shalom yorav, or people who are not registered for it, or they roll in the or people who are uh, uncircumcised, or who are tamay, chayef, he is chayef. However, if he does it, so the shechter is high because he shechted it on Shabbos. However, but he does it for people who can eat and people who can't eat. For people who are registered, not registered, or people who are um, um, circumcised and uncircumcised, and people who are tamay and tower, then he is potter because we said, as we learned earlier, that if you do it for both groups, then it is a kosher, and therefore he's not high in the, uh, for violating Shabbos. And shechter venin to Balmum, if he shechts it and he finds out it's a Balmum, Right, and it turns out Balmum Chayiv. He is Chayiv because he should have checked from before, and he didn't check, and therefore he's Chayiv because he's Chayiv because he's Beshogig. And Shachta of an inside Shreifa Beseser. But if he shechs and he finds out in the inside, right, there was a Shreifa in it, so therefore he's Potter because that is considered to be an Einus. It's not something that he could have known before, and therefore he did everything else properly. So we know that if someone does something Beshogig, right? Someone does something which, had he looked into more, he could have realized. And he didn't. So then he's chayva carbon chatus. But if it's something that was completely out of his control, he had no way of knowing before, then he's even putter from bringing a carbon chatus. And shachlu v'naida shemashka bali misad yodom. Let's say he shechted it. And then all of a sudden, after he shechted it, he didn't realize the owners basically, you know, they gave him the animals. He says, okay, shechle for us. And they, they, they decided to go with somebody else. Uh, or shemesu, or they died. Or shenitmo, or they came tome. He is putter. Uh, he is Potter. Why? Because once he gets on his mipnei shachah berushus, because he shechted berushus, and there was no way for him to know, and therefore, in such a case, is onus, and therefore, he's Potter from bringing a chatos in that case. All right, we'll uh, we'll stop here. Shkayach, everybody, uh, stay safe while uh, shoveling, stay safe while driving, and uh, we'll see you uh, tomorrow, Mitzvah Shem, regular time. If you need Shkayach. a pickup, give me a call, or Randy has a truck too. If anyone's uh, here. Bye. All right, I'll see you.